Happy holidays, everyone, and welcome back. Toysh is here, and today we got two new action figures to check out from the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse line, both of which are gold label and both of which are online exclusive. Kicking it off with Wallace West, the Kid Flash. He is a McFarlane Toys Store online exclusive. You could still get him after this video. I don't know how much you're going to really want him, but we'll, of course, we'll be taking a look. The Amazon exclusive was this Robin Tim Drake. This is more in his Batman The New Adventures slash post-Infinite Crisis look when they kind of kind of streamlined him, got rid of the green, red and black, and yellow. But not a bad looking figure. Got to give it to him. If you're wondering, Kid Flash hails from the DC Rebirth. And of course, Robin comes from Tim Drake. <laughs> I don't know why they put that on the sides. Make it more clear. Anyways, this is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at two new DC multiverse figures, Wallace West and Tim Drake from McFarlane Toys. And while I got all you sidekicks here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my DC Multiverse videos. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. I guarantee you'll find something here that you like. Now, to kick it off with Wallace West. It comes with a bevy of Speed Force electrical effects cast in red plastic. They're okay. You kind of put them every which way. There's really no designated spot I do wish that they did have more of a designated spot, although you can kind of figure it out. You make it work for what you want to see, but they're a little brittle. Just go really easy with them. They kind of make me nervous. He also comes with a pair of extra hands. These are more of the outstretched running hands. This one has some kind of schmutz on there. I don't know. It looks like a burn mark on the plastic. That's not coming off. And I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to save you a couple minutes here. This is one of the worst McFarlane figures they have ever done. And it's such a backtrack and such a bummer. Because one, Wallace West totally deserved better. And two, this is a step in the wrong direction, McFarlane Toys. I get it. It's an online exclusive for your store. But that does not give you an excuse to just do whatever. I mean, this, this, is, this is bad. This is almost like a customized... Like, I made this figure. The yellows... Don't match, right, at all. So that's one. The black along the edges right there is very sloppy. The red on the shield is not bad. But right here, all the black, all these little jagged marks right here, they're just a mishigash of, yeah, whatever, slop. It's terrible. And I hate to say that, but that's just the reality of it. And the plastic doesn't even match the hands from the glove paint to the hands. It doesn't it, – it's such a stark contrast – it's like, you shouldn't have even done this. On the boots, I get it. You want to do reuse. I'm not too hard up about the sculpted parts. But then the yellow, again, does not match at all. And then you have these Bart Simpson lines, right, for his hair. That you've got one big one on this side. And then three small, like, none of it works. None of it looks good. This is the wrong direction for what we want to see. In fact... All of 2022, I've been going, yes, great articulation. They've improved it. Paint, not this one. Even the red on the mask. And I got to tell you, I get it. It's supposed to be Wallace West. Side eye thing, that's a preference. But that's not the look of a superhero right there. He's like snarling. He's just like, he looks upset. Where superheroes should be rushing in. You know, oh yeah, I'm here to save the day. He just looks upset that he has to get involved with anything. So this one, I'm going to tell you right now. Online exclusive, so you don't really you don't have to worry about it. You won't be seeing it in the stores. But no, I would never recommend this figure. In fact, I'm just like, man, this is such a bummer that I'm not even really going to show off the rest of it. I mean, what are you supposed to do with this guy? You know what I mean? Like, the paint is terrible. It's just, it's a total pass. So, moving on, we can talk about uh, the Red Robin here, which is a much better figure although it does have its qualms right now you do get tim drake's bow staff which is cool it's very jagged on some of the parts go easy when you're putting it into his hand he does hold it well however i did have to heat up his hands in order to get it to work in his hand it's a very very tight grip so just keep that in mind didn't take off any of the paint or anything like that but nice bow staff and this right here is my favorite accessory 
it's a Batarang. And every single Batman character should come with a Batarang. And he looks freaking sleek holding that because he can hold it in his two fingers right there. And that's awesome. That's what I want to see for a Batman character. So well done. More Batarangs, more Bat gadgets for the Bat family. That's my two cents. And then you have the figure itself. You can call him Red Robin, early Red Robin. You know, this is before he did the whole wings and all that kind of stuff. But you can tell right here, this is going to be reused for a 90s Tim Drake Robin because you can clearly see where the sleeves are. And everyone to ad nauseum have said this, posted about it. Now I'm talking about it. We get it. It's a reused figure before we get the figure that we want, right? So the sleeves, it doesn't look good, but it's not a total deal breaker. You know what I mean? Like it's like, okay, but the rest of the figure is pretty good, except for the R right there. You can clearly see they just kind of put a mini circle instead of the more outstreet. You know what I mean? It, it, it's like, uh, after going from Wallace West, this like a breath of fresh air. The reds on the tights, the black, it's mostly a lot of plastic. There's some paints. For what paints there, it's not too shabby. The head portrait is pretty dang cool. The cape is nice, of course. He has that updated sort of uh, Batman cape that Robin has. And everything looks good. It's got the correct belts. I'm not uh, having any problems with that. The thing that kind of throws me off is that he's so heavily armored upstairs, you know what I mean? That, I mean, some of the parts that you see are on the 90s Robin costume, don't get me wrong. But when you go down to the legs, this kind of what I like to see, less of the armored, more like quote-unquote Jim Lee version, you know what I mean? The boots get a little bit armored, he does have those toe boots, which... That's a 90s staple right there. He's got peggles on the bottom of his feet. So those are my minor gripes where it's like more preference than anything. But overall, it's actually a pretty cool looking figure. So I do like it minus the cuffs. If you took away the arm things, I wouldn't say much. I would be like, yeah, that totally works. So honestly, McFarlane toys don't do too much reuse. We see that with all the other stuff that keep you guys as separate. You know what I mean? You're, you're doing well. The articulation is what you would expect. It's got the updated articulation. Again, go easy with the hands. He does have trigger fingers, but again, it, it aids in holding the batarang, but it's going to look kind of silly when holding the bow stab. He has a bit of an ab crunch. You can move him around at the waist and at the upper diaphragm. The head actually gets a lot of momentum out of it, so that's cool when you want to do him in those falling heroic poses. The legs kick out. Nothing new. Double jointed knees. Nothing at the boot. Nothing at the thigh. And then, of course, you got the toe boots with the toe articulation and whatnot. So again, he's really nicely articulated for a McFarlane toy. He's got the updated articulation. The paint's nice for what is there. Excellent head portrait. So overall, very happy with the few qualms that I have with this figure. But I got to tell you, what I really enjoy is putting him with Batman. So you have a really cool dynamic duo. And the more and more you kind of get those uh, throwbacks that's good for DC Multiverse. And, of course, Kid Flash, you can see how he scales up. Again, I'm going to tell you, all the problems with Kid Flash, just flat out. No, just no. No on that figure. So, that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new sidekicks from McFarlane Toys' DC Multiverse, Kid Flash and Tim Drake Robin. And you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, stay tuned for the end of the year for my 2022 McFarlane Toys, the junior year wrap-up. It's going to be fun. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.